All right, hey everybody. So uh, here is my first attempt at a flyback driver circuit. This is the single transistor circuit, which uh, I really want to stress right now that I do not in any way recommend this circuit. Um, don't get me wrong, it, it's great. It's a great learning tool, which was the whole point of me doing the circuit is to you know just kind of get an idea. Of, of how this all functions, uh, more of a theory than than an application really. Uh, you do blow transistors a lot. Uh, I got this circuit from uh, Sam and again I, I think the circuit is great it's just it is absolutely not reliable at all and I think it should only be used for the purposes of, of learning and understanding uh, the way that these types of circuits work to kind of give you an introduction into higher powered circuits. So this is the single transistor circuit. It uses a 27 ohm 1 watt resistor. Um, it's got a 240 ohm 4 watt resistor. Uh, it should be a 5 watt, but seems to be working okay. Um, again, I can't see it. It's out over here. Uh, but I'm using a 12 volt UPS battery. So the circuit's obviously running off 12 volts. You can run it anywhere from 6 to 20 vo 24 volts. Uh, apparently it takes about 5 volts to actually get the circuit oscillating. Um, so if you're using a power supply, you'll probably notice that as you turn up the voltage. The way this circuit operates is it uses a feedback loop here uh, on, the, uh, on, the, on the transformer. It has both the primary winding and a feedback winding. And basically as power is applied to the circuit, it induces a voltage to flow in the feedback winding which uh, in turn signals the transistor. So this circuit essentially uh, resonates and operates it itself. It, it achieves self-resonance. So it's, it's really ingenious the way the circuit works. I just wish the circuit was a little more powerful, uh, able to, you know, or a little more reliable. The transistors that I'm using uh, were both the ones that Sam recommended. Uh, the first one, the initial transistor, was the 2N3055, which dies. Uh, I, I don't know why, it just seems like it'll work for five minutes and then just randomly it'll stop working. I, I don't know what's causing it, but it, it's like it has a, 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 a dead timer on it. So the other one that Sam recommended was the MJ15003G, um, which is just a, a higher powered version of the same thing. And that seems to handle the current a little better. So, uh, so here's the circuit operating. So we get some some fairly good arcing off it. Uh, it's nothing too impressive, but it, it is working. So I'm fairly happy with it. Again, you know, it was a great circuit to uh, just kind of learn from, but. It's, it's really not reliable at all. In fact, I wouldn't doubt it if by the end of this video, if uh, this transistor was dead. So, uh, so there we have it. Thanks for looking.